The Mad Manga is here and it's free. Now I'm going to compare this to the Track Manga to see whether or not the designs of this, the huge exhaust, the cutting edges, see whether or not they make any difference to the speed. Looking at both cars side by side, the Track Manga has faster statistics, but will it be the quicker of the two on our track? We start with the Track Manga and I forgot how nice this car sounds, just idle. Now I feel like this is definitely going to be a car that I'm going to say that I want to use again because uh, I think I did like it. I think it just, oh, okay, that hurt. It just rolled a lot, I think previously, but it may be all right now. It feels very light, wow. Oh my god, I don't think I've ever cut that corner so nicely. I, mean, I did scrape it a tiny bit, but look, look how easily I can cut these corners. This is, this, this is quick. Wow, look at that. There's no way this is not quick. This has to be one of the quicker cars. Now, given the Mad Manga's crazy design, I'm actually expecting it to be something crazy. Like, it has to be super fast. The statistics say that it's slower than this. Which is weird, you know? It looks like the uh, upgraded version. Fully specced, fully kitted out. Huge exhaust. <laughs> but I mean, we'll find out, you know? It's gonna be a bit difficult to see just from statistics because statistics always lie. They're never truly accurate. I did hit the wall there, but I don't think that was, oh my God. I just saw the time for this car. I'm in shock because this this will beat some cars that you guys will not expect it to beat. But you guys might already know that this is a rapid car. I don't know because I just have barely used it. I used it once. That's it. And look at the speed of it. I really should not have used my second boost there. But to be fair, I gained it here. So we come up to the finish. You guys won't know the times, but that was rapid. Wow, look at the design. The splitter, the skirts, the exhaust. <laughs> this car is crazy. Sounds exactly the same, I think. It just does have a boost bar and uh, yeah, that, that already ran out just from that one tiny, tiny straight. I think this feels maybe a little heavier and a little slower. Yeah, I think it does. But whenever something looks slow, it's always extremely quick or it's something like that. It's just weird how that works out. Now, uh, we want boost around this, which is the same. I don't think we did in the track manga. You know, I'll have to check that because looking at the time, it was extremely quick. This has a lot of work to do if it wants to beat that, but I don't know. I just don't think this feels as quick as it does. Now, the shout outs from the previous video will be up on the screen here. If you want to shout out quickly, let me know right now which card you think is going to be the quickest out of the two. Track manga or the mad manga. Second lap. Uh, this does not feel that bad, I'd say. It feels good. It's like a good car to use. However, look, it was stuck. <laughs> if I was Jota and I did my little, well, if I could do the little sh wiggling technique to actually gain boost quick. This would probably be any car. But then again, if you give Jota any car, I think he'll win anyway. But we're coming up on the finish here. I'd have to say, I'm not going to lie. I'm a bit underwhelmed by this car. After getting into the track manga, this car feels a lot more underwhelming. But the times will speak for themselves, I think. What I can reveal to you guys, the quicker car of the two is the track manga with a time of 31.623. Guys, that is insane. I think that is the quickest a car has ever went around my track. The Mad Manga obviously second with a time of 32.658. What? How? I'm that car very underwhelming. It just felt like a normal car, but was it just slow. The Mad Manga is just not as good as the track manga. You heard it here first. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Goodbye.